Michael mother left out in the cold after a fire and rent issues. No place to go in the dead of winter, but a local group has come to her rescue. Here's Christian Garzone with this story. Christian. Adam, Jessica Lane and her kids pulled up, with, up to us in their car this week. That was their home for days, the car. Their food and clothing was locked inside of the apartment they've been evicted from. They were at this, their lowest point until a local group stepped in. We've been taking showers when we can at yeah. friends' house and stuff, using the bathroom at, you know, yeah. McDonald's or yeah. wherever. We met Jessica Lane on Harris Street in front of the housing unit she was evicted from. The locks changed, her belongings inside, and a for rent sign already in the front yard. Same day. Yeah. He locked the door and put the eviction notice on my door the same day. Lane says in addition to getting falsely accused of late rent, she was also blamed for an electrical fire on New Year's Eve, the result of a cheap job done by the landlord. He decided to use speaker wire to yeah. um, wire the house. The Rochester Fire Department did confirm a smoke event happened on that day due to faulty wiring in the basement. Well, there's a lot of factors behind how wrong this is. At this time, we have nowhere to go. We're just in the car. Or so Lane thought. The next morning, the Open Door Mission was able to place her and her children into a hotel and provide food and clothing. It was heartbreaking to hear that uh, a mom and three kids were living in a car. Ramon Cintron is associate director at the Open Door Mission. With a situation as desperate as Lane's, he says they moved quickly. I think she's doing an amazing job as she has been advocating for herself and her family, so um, we're partnering with her. Now we did speak with the landlord. He says Lane was three months behind in rent. She says she was not. He would not answer if he served Lane eviction paperwork on the day of the scheduled eviction. Usually eviction is a process with advanced notification. The landlord had no further comment. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you for that story. Next week, the Open Door Mission is going to reassess Lane's situation and possibly extend her stay at the hotel if needed.